four directional movement in three simple steps. Step 1. Get the input direction using input.getVector. This results in eight directional movement. Step 2. If the x input isn't zero, set the y movement to zero. Otherwise, set the x movement to zero. Normalize the vector. This results in a primitive four directional movement where the x movement is always prioritized over the y movement. Step 3. To make the movement more responsive, we want to change direction whenever a new key is pressed. No more prioritizing one direction over the other. So away with what we just added, and instead we check if both directions are set, and then if the keys for left or right is pressed, we set the y velocity to zero, and if the keys for up or down is pressed, we set the x velocity to zero. If no new key is pressed, we need to use the last velocity we set. Add a variable for the last velocity and initialize this to zero. Again, normalize the vector, set the last velocity and multiply the velocity with the speed variable. Now you can enjoy your new four directional movement made in Godot. The project files for this video is available through Patreon. Bye!